showing you all the functions okay and this comes here so let's go with this all right uh, we have a lot of functions to work resize is also there resize you'll be understanding what exactly the resize if you go for uh, just having an info of that the examples are there even you don't have to make any programs for that right so if there is an array okay you understand the things like if there is an array this one taking the same example this is a right now if i print my a what is this 0 1 2 3 okay now if i'm making it np dot resize okay i'm changing the size that is a in 2 by 3 okay a and just adding the things over there right so what will be the output see you will you will find the difference exactly what if it looks so 0 1 2 and then after 3 0 1 what it means did you find something interesting or there or anything confusing 2 3 means what are you finding here a resize of a 2 and 3 so it was previously 0 1 2 3 and then 2 and 3 and 0 and 1 has been again added hmm. okay fine see in this one you go through like you build your own um, you can say that is kind of your own logic right so let's say if we take this example the same a that is still 0 1 2 3 okay now if i'm making 2 and 4 what is the output something like this now what is this 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 why or if i make it as 1 and 4 what is that 0 1 2 3 what exactly the size tells you you think of what is shape two rows four columns he is saying all right see what what does size tell you shape what does shape tell you shape and reshape also we have been discussed yesterday right so two rows four columns we are saying two rows three columns mm -hmm. right so exactly you are saying right so why are the 0 and 1 and the things has been repeating right because it has been said like in the numpy if we write something in a one dimension in an array and we say 1 2 3 4 5 right it is one dimension array now what if I say the number of dimensions to be 3 I will have to specify something nd mean equals to 3 and then I get an array with a 3 dimension right so this nd mean is working here as the resize it is saying 2 cross 4 that means 2 rows and 4 columns or 4 elements you can say right so see we only have 0 1 2 and 3 right so 0 1 2 and 3 has been done for 1 that is first row now there is nothing left right so again it will be repeating 0 1 2 and 3 and now it is uh, it has completed 2 rows and 4 columns same if we write it as to be 4 cross 4 you will find the same thing see 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 if you say 4 cross 5 you will be getting it till there 0 1 2 3 again 0 1 2 3 again 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 clear to everyone any doubts and resize reshape and resize are quite different only there is a very slight um, change there okay anyone having doubts in the resize and reshape still confusions no nice all right and the uh, shape of a would work as two cross two so even if you reshape it you can only change it two rows two columns yeah so you can do only in two plus two Right, like this 0 1 2 3 or you can have a transpose of this you can get 0 2 1 3 that's it you can change only like this right okay next hmm. 
Hmm. Now, yesterday uh, we did something with the square roots. Like if I say to find the square root of, uh, let's say, an array, we are having some numbers. Mm, or it is an array, which consists of some numbers. If it is having a 4.0 or like 4, 60, 64, okay, three numbers, and I define my D type there. Thirty-two bits float. All right. Now, if this is B, which is having all these, if I say the square root, I can easily find this with b and i get 2 for it right again i if i want to find cube root i will have to write cbrt of b to find the cube roots right so cube roots for cube roots what i'll do i'll uh, make a c i'll i'll make it where i state and um, i'll make it 27 i'll make it 64 again and uh, then 125 right to 16 something like this okay and now uh, this, let's make it to an array and we dot an array first okay and after that let's look to the c how it looks so it looks like an integer right so if i make a cube root of this i'll have to write cbrt of the c and there are the results that is 2.0 3.0 4.0 5 and 6 Like if you want to find the logs, you can easily do using np dot log. Let's say log ten. So the value is this, right? Log one. Okay. Log zero minus infinite. Right. So inf means the infinity. Okay. Fine. So uh, log can be done something like this. Okay. And the sine and the cos and the tan and all working same is there right in the matplotlib we will be discussing how the graph goes and all such things so if we make an arrange of elements right let's start with that arrange so np dot arrange of let's say um, 20 elements okay so that means there would be numbers from 0 to 19 very very simple right now if we say 24 a blank array comes because the start and stop is blank or you can say start and stop is wrong so if i make something from like this oh sorry from 0 to 20 in the intervals of 4 now i think it would be clear to you right from 0 to 20 in the intervals of 4 so 0 4 8 12 16 right similar to this in some uh, junior classes you might have uh, seen that there could be the questions like find some uh, numbers 5 to 6 numbers between two numbers or find some some this numbers in the rational numbers or something like that right so how to go with all those right if i say that i want to find some 25 numbers between uh, 2.5 and 3.5 so in between 2.5 and let's say 2.6 I want to find 25 numbers and all those 25 numbers should be in equal spacing equal spacing you understand like if I say I want to find 5 numbers right uh, or I want to find uh, 10 numbers from 1 to 10 so the equal spacing would be 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So 10 numbers are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And the spacing is equal 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 10. So does I say that I want to find from 2.5 to 2.6, okay? Only 0.1 difference, and I want 25 numbers in between them, right? So in that case, what should I use? What are the functions there when we when we want a lot of numbers 
with an equal spacing, with a linear spacing, right? For that, we use something called as length space. Okay, so we'll just write length space and let, let's write the starting point and the stopping point. So our starting number is 2.6, sorry, 5. Our stopping number is 2.6, okay? And the numbers of sample we want is 25. That's it, right? So we get an array, right, where we have the numbers starting from 2.5, again going till there, right, all the things, and ending exactly at 2.6 with 25 numbers. Now, what if I say 205 numbers? All right, that's not a problem because we can also get a 205 numbers less between 2.5 to 2.6, right? Okay, so what if we say 2005? It will automatically take some time, but it will make the things, right? So that is things. A 2005 numbers has also been there. But there is an initial printing, we have to write it uh, just a second. So if you find the length of this, if I say d is equals to this, right? So if I say uh, the d of size of d, I find it to be something 2005, right? So 2005 is the size of the d from there, and you can find the things. Okay, now, now similar to this, if I say to have exactly what is length space so it gives you a linear spacing values between some intervals like from starting to stopping numbers and the intervals you write so by default if you try to look on to this np dot length space what you find is there are some parameters which are excess d type red step endpoint num start and stop So if I say np dot a length space from 1 to 4, okay, that is start at 1, stop at 4, number of samples I am not writing now, okay, endpoint equals to 2. Understand what is an endpoint, okay? So when I say endpoint equals to true, it stops at 4, where I want it, right? And by default, we get some numbers. You get some length, basically, right? So what are those lengths? There are 50 numbers. By default, you have 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 rows over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns, okay? 50 numbers are there. So by default it is 50. Now if you want to define it, I can just write length space, then the starting is to be 
1, stopping at 4. Let's say I want 10 numbers, so it is 10. Now, what if I say endpoint equals false? Now it will not stop at 4, right? It will give me 10 numbers, but it will not stop at 4. It will stop before the 4. Okay, see, it stop at 3.7. Okay, but there is a red step that is 0.3. Oh, sorry, let's see it first. Okay, uh, the same thing I copy, pasting it there, right? So, there is something called as red step, it return the stepping value to be true, and we get 0.3, right? That exactly is the you can say, like, in, if it is an arithmetic progression question, right? So, you can say it has to be the D common difference. Right? So common difference is 0.3. Very simple. Any doubts? What more is there? The Rx step, endpoint, and. Sir, can you explain the last statement again? Last statement. Mm -hmm. Last one. Yes, sir. Endpoint. Endpoint or red step? Uh, sir, the last step, the last return step. step. I didn't register. Return step, alright. See. If I make and push in from like 0 to 10, I want 10 numbers. Okay. So, exactly what will be the things? Uh, just a couple of with the 9 it is um, all right so let's say i want numbers from 1 to 10 and 9 numbers i want if i say 10 i get the things right so from 1 to 10 i want 10 numbers exactly it would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so what is the common difference if i say this is an ap what is the common difference Common difference exactly you can say the difference between the two consecutive numbers or two numbers basically, right? Two minus one is one, three minus two is one, four minus three one, five minus four one, six minus five one one. Okay. So if I say that I want to see the red step, that is the stepping value. What is the intervals of the stepping value you are taking or you have taken? So red step equals to true gives you the stepping value. It says the stepping value in this is one point zero. That is 1 plus 1.0 gives 2, 2 plus 1.0 gives 3, 3, 4, 3 plus 1.0 gives 4. Similar here, 1 plus 0.3 gives 1.3, 1.3 plus again 0.3 gives 1.6. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Again, there is a parameter called as real type where you can define the real type, what you want to see. Like you can go with the complex, bool. Results and all. Otherwise, you can go with okay. nice. So, this is the length space, right? Similar to this is something called as log space. Same things are there, right? Only there you get log space values. That's it. Like linear spacing, if you want to find the log space, uh, log values between two intervals, you can find the things. If you want to find the log space between 1 and 100, uh, the log values from 1 to 100, you can find. Yeah. Like, see. These are the results. Let's make it shorter. Right. 1.D e plus 1. one what is 1.D? E? What is the value? Anyone can tell me. What is the value of E? Exponential value? Okay, leave it. So 
So log values of 1 to 100. Same working is there. Okay. Same working. Clear? One to eleven in the intervals of ten, the not get the things. Intervals of one, so results are there. Okay, like this. Same working for the log spacings. Here also you get the equal spacing values. You can find the information for that too. All right. Uh, next, coming up to the random. See. In the random module of this uh, numpy, they do have a lot of functions, and one is called as random. If I say random of one, I get some random number. That's it. Okay. Now let's say if I say a random number cross five values again. Right? What if I say to print a same random number for uh, some hundred times? I just want to see the results. Any? What is the maximum limit for this? Just tell me. Okay? Okay. So you see some results, mostly what you see, minus 0, negative numbers, hmm? alright, so you see list of negative numbers. Now let's see the directory of this, so what do you find here, if I print it. Here what do you see if comma geometric get state crumble and hypergeometric a lot of things are there right so in random you have a lot of things to do like np dot random dot random is there random is there ranf is there c is there sample is there right so not all the functions is important right some of them are important and very important okay so let's go with the sum for this choice where is c where is c uh here is something is c choice right c if I make a random number, if I say np dot random dot random and I say uh, 34, so I get some 34 random numbers, isn't it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 cross 5, 35 minus 134, clear? Hmm? If I say np dot random dot random 5 5 numbers multiplied by 4 this also there right if I say 50 10 cross 5 would be there hmm? so what do you find the maximum and the minimum ranges what do you find the range from 0 exactly like 0 0.5 6 7 mostly some of the times you find 0 ranges very really hardly it goes till 0 0.9 right very really hard 9 9 to the what if we say 500 right now you find results in exponentiation values these are not like 6 point something right these are the exponentiation values right now when you go with a lot of uh, samples for the random Right, then 500 we are taking. Let's take 100. We'll find things there. Mm, no, not here too. Let's have a 200. I go here. Some would be there. No. Okay, 250. 
Still no. Three forty. Right, see. So you find some things, right? And after a particular interval, everything will be going in exponentiation values, and from there, you things will be coming in better, right? So from zero, you can expect expect from minus uh, things will be better, right? So that is a random shift. Now here, you don't know actually what values are are to be expected to come, right? What if we take some negative numbers? Like what if we take random numbers, but of my choice? See what it, I I say that I only want numbers three four five six seven. Let's say I only want these numbers three four five six seven in my random number. I say I want some fifty random numbers. Okay, and from the fifty random numbers, the only numbers would be three four five six seven. That means three should come, four should come, five should come, six should come, and seven should come only in the fifty. Nothing else. So that means I'm defining my random numbers. I'm defining my numbers and I'm just um, having an expectancy that I would be getting any uh, of the random numbers from there, right? That means I'm giving the number, but still I don't know which number is going to come for how many times, right? But we can set it using the choice. So I say that my numbers only would be. Three, four, five, six, seven, right? But for how many times it should be there? So I say that the possibilities or the probabilities of the numbers for three. Let's say for three it should be point two. For four it should be point three. For five it should be point one. For six it should be point three. So three, three, six, uh, three, three, six. Seven, eight, and nine, and again this is point one. So what I have done is point two, point three, point one, point three, and point one. And why again? So if we combine all the values three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, so one point zero probability should not be greater than one point zero, right? So five numbers, five probability I have shared. Now if we run this, so you get just a number, right? The probability very high is for four. And six. Again, I run six, three, six, four. Right now, what if I say that I want a size of ten numbers? That's it. So in ten numbers, I find it six, four, three, six, three, six, six, three, six, and six for many times, three, uh, three for very less times, and four is for there. Right. So there is a probability. Right? That means right. Okay. Anyhow, I have given the probability for the four and the six. As the same 0.3, but still I'm getting six for many times, right? That I'm saying, right? Even if I define the probabilities, I do not know that how many number of times we are going to get the outcomes, right? But still, we can define our own numbers in the random stool, right? So if I say some hundred numbers, and that should be if if it is hundred, then in ten cross ten, a uh, ten cross ten columns, right? So it is something like this, right? The probabilities you can see here, or ten cross two, let's say, ten cross five, it is better. Something like this, or five cross ten is better. Five cross five is better. Like this, okay? So what I find six, seven, and all these things, something where, right? Now, how many six are there? How many five are there? How many four are there? How many three are there? How to count? There is a function called sorting. Now, let's say this is s. So we will do np dot sort s, and we find now three, four, five, six, seven. 
is the results like this hmm you are getting any sorting kind of things hmm 3 4 5 6 7 3 4 5 6 7 3 4 5 6 7 isn't it see 3 4 5 6 7 3 4 5 6 6 3 3 3 4 4 4 5 6 and here are the things right 3 3 4 and 6 3 3 4 4 6 7 clear sorting has been done so how many threes are there right for that we need to count now so they for for that thing there we have a function that is called where very important function very very important so now if i say that np dot where in s the values are 3 so where the s values are 3 so it says these are the positions in the array where the values are 3 not all these values okay so it is saying 0 0 0 0 1 1 2 2 so what are you saying 0 0 0 0 like this right and again 1 1 2 2 2 2 like that clear to everyone having doubts mm, might be I didn't, I didn't get it. Okay. So uh, let's take it from four. Hmm. No, I'll see. Uh, just a moment. Where is four? First of all, four score. Where it is? Here. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Looks like. So let me see it. Hmm. It is zero. Four, eight. So. Hmm. Two rows. Having five. Mm. No. no. Yeah, one array. Zero. No, no, no. I think something has been changed. This has been changed. I'm not doing sorting. That is three six 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 four 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 six seven four, right? Okay. Now first of all, let's go with the indexing because here you, whatever you find in the uh, pair are the index values. Just okay. So let's go with the indexing first. You see how indexing has been done. So if I say s of zero, it is completely this. Huh? Okay. S of one, completely this. Right. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what are you getting at? 0. 0, 4. Clear? 0, 4. 0, 5. 0, 6. 0, 9. 1 of 2. 1 of 6. 2 of 9. 3 of 4. 3 of 9. 4 of 2. And 4 of 8. What is 4? S of 4. What is 4 of 8? 4. 1 of 2. One of two, four. We are getting the things. Zero of five. Zero of five. Four. Still having doubts, anyone? Because indexing are very quite tough to understand. But try to understand it easily. Sir, I'm sir, I'm not getting it. Not Who is having a doubt with this? Parth is having. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm not getting it. Okay, see, this is the one array, okay, in where what I am getting, this is the one and this is the second, okay. Now, this is the S, which is having 0, 1, indexing time talking about, 3, no, sorry, 2, 3 and 4. This is clear, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, in where, if I write, let me look onto the S first again. Okay. This is your S. And if I find here NP dot, where the values of 
which is having the very less percent let's go with that first mm, point 0.1 is for the 7 and 2.5 okay so s equal equals to point sorry 7 now see this is fine so here are the answers okay that says that array of this and array of this is the answer okay so it says the first one that is 0 of 8 okay that means in the first row the 8th element is 7 in the second row the 7th element is again 7 in the first row again the 8th element is 7 in the third row that is you can say the second row even right in the third row the second element is this okay you see the s of 0 the first s of the 0 is completely this right and it says the 0 of what 8 right first first second second third third you go with that right so s of 0 is this now s of 0 of 8 it is saying so s of 0 of 8 what is that 7 clear s of 1 of 7 still having doubts you can ask yes sir done sir clear yes sir thank you sir. okay all right so this is where okay now it gives you basically the index number so that means that the zero of this eight the one of seven the two likely to this like four of four okay so s of four of four there again it will give you something right similar to this uh, again come back to like where is very important okay all right now there are some unique numbers unique numbers uniqueness sets we talk about right if i say set of this s what is this uh, we cannot convert directly from here right so what you can do is np dot unique numbers of this s so three four five six seven right only these are the numbers in the random numbers there in the set sorry in the array three to seven Similar to this, for the unique numbers, there are a lot of things. Okay, let's go with this now. Okay, so you remember on the first day uh, with the random numbers, we have made something like Google codes. Hmm? On the very first day, we have made that. Now, see how we made that using the random function, and that was very easy actually. Okay. Let me write things. Let's say arrange. Yeah, if I say some this much, that is one lakh words. Okay. So for i in np of 1 lakh, uh, let's write np, sorry, random of 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, and c dot append the values. will be equal to o dot append will be better g hash plus the str of c hmm? and np dot seconds
it's taking time. Uh, okay, let's do one thing. Uh, it's taking time, so let's stop this and reshape it. It is obviously. So let us drop this and This would be done quickly, I hope. Uh, Sunning star. Quick, quick, quick. Code has been defined, C has been defined. It's taking time. So uh, let's look at post 50. So, what I find is some codes, right? Uh, oops, this is wrong. That was the issue. Just a minute. See that. So uh, we are having the codes, right? Okay, so in a minute we have generated, not in even a minute, in some seconds we have generated, right? 10,000 times, codes for 10,000 times. Now, see. So if we look on directly the code here, you would you find some unicodes and the length, obviously, they. Till 500, you find the codes. Till 500, 500 codes are there. Okay, now, so do we have to find what are the length of the unique numbers. So, how many unique elements are there in the code, and what is the size of the code, and what is the size of this unique? So, 9937 is the size of the code, unique codes and 10,000 is the actual size of the code. So if we subtract it, so there are 63 duplications. That means a code can be duplicated for 3 times, 2 times, 5 times, we don't know. Hmm? So what to do now? We need to find it, how many duplications are there. So we need to do something like np dot unique of code and we need to write that return index equals to true and return just have this return in next to now. So if we run this, what we see, the next one has to be the index values. So where the unique values are there and what the index values are there. Okay, uh, just a moment. Just a moment. Forward. Okay. 
import test set parameter np dot index and return index and return hmm, counts. Let's say z is equals to this. X, y, z is equals to this. All right. Now, what is x? The unique of the code. What is y? The index number of the unique codes. And what is z? The returnings of those. So, what is z? So, that is giving you the values. Right. Now, we need to find that where the values of the z is greater than 1. So, wherever the values would be greater than 1, those values would be having duplications, right? So, we need to do np dot where the values of the z is greater than 1. And we got some results. That is, these are the results, right? Or we can find the size. How many size we have got? Uh, that is a couple basically. Just a moment. Sixty three, obviously, right? Only that results are there. Okay, so we have got three seventy, three eighty two, five hundred seventy three, all these things, right? So let's go with like Z of three seventy. What is that? This is two. That means at three seventy there is a two. So what is there at three seventy? That is two. Exactly, we can say y of 2 means 9631. So, x of 9631 g 9 0 0 0. So, np dot where x is equal equals to g 9700079631. The position you are getting it right. So here you are getting two outcomes at 370, right? So uh, Z of 370 is something. So Y of 370, what is that? 374 Y for X, what is 370? So we get 146553. 146553. So this is also... Just a moment. Some wrong results are there. <coughs> Some wrong results are there. Nine six three one. Three hundred and seventy. The same as one more. Hmm. 3275 that's the thing 3275 so it's 3y of that code is 3275 so we need to find for 3275 D four zero two four nine four. Only zero. One four six double five three hundred interested in X. Oh no 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 
that is x x is having actually the unicode why we are doing wrong we need to test it at code because x will be giving you the unique values we need to test it at code so uh, this should be equals to the code yeah so the two results are that this code has got duplication at two values 3275 and 9599 right so code of 3275 and the code of 9599 so you get the same codes over there right so over the things if there is any duplication you can find and tomorrow is your uh, numpy test a small test okay and after that we'll be starting the pandas and see how this works in the pandas right so if i say uh, data frame of this code uh, before that code will be equals to code dot reshape 10,000 it is the length right so 10 cross 10 cross columns Uh, this giving you some samples, okay? Data frame constructor not properly called. This is wrong because f is to be capital. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. So what do you see? Uh, a list of like codes. So there, um, some samples. Having a lot of Google codes now. This is what we have generated, right? So we can do it like the two underscore of HTML as code dot HTML or something like this. And this we will be getting in our directory here, some around here. Um, so here it is. Where is the machine learning here? So if you find this, the code will be something like this, right? All the Google codes. And you know, right? Writing in an HTML table, creating an HTML table is how much it is difficult, right? So we can just create it, and you can see it is there nine 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 triple nine. Starting from zero triple nine, that means two hundred. Sorry, uh, one thousand Google codes, right? And you can even save it to the HTML, uh, like in the CSV format in Excel and all, like D two underscore of CSV or Excel if you want in Excel too. So codes dot CSV. So it has it has been changed that actually, and you can find the things here even. See code dot csv, and you can find that complete csv thing here, and you can even download the things right just by using the download, and it has been downloaded here. Like if I uh, use this, so let me stop this sharing and present this um, window. this share so you can see the codes here in the excel sheet what you have generated okay you can find even the duplications here too you can make a lot of things for finding the duplications here all right okay that's a different thing we'll learn in pandas for the tables and all that is a different part actually